I hope this video helps. Please check out the playlist, Evidence for Christianity, Evidence for the Bible, End Times, and the Book of Revelation. I'll leave links in the description for all four. Enjoy. I have an old PS2 here that a friend of mine wanted to get out and play some of his old games, but it wasn't working. So let's see what it's doing. Hear that noise? It's got a rattling sound in there when it first starts up. And then when you open up the tray, it makes the same grinding sound. So there it is, you just hear that constant rattle, grinding noise. When you're in browser, it just shows a memory card and then it says it's reading disk. And then you just had that constant rattling, grinding sound. So, we're gonna need to tear that thing apart. So I have a feeling the problem is more than just a dirty lens. What I do is I pop the the tray open, and of course the front cover's gone, but whatever. And then while it's open here, just uh, shut off the PS2 in the back. And then it'll just stay like this. I'm going to clean it all out and lubricate the uh, screw gear in there for the laser lens. And let's take it apart. So I got uh, these rubber bumpers with screws underneath. Let's take those out. All right, so when taking the screws out, these four are the same length, and these four are the really long ones. So I will have to push this back in in order to get the case off. There we go. And then just be mindful of the ribbon cable there. So now we have access to the drive assembly here. Let's take the cover off for that, and then we can clean and lube everything. All right, so now I have this top cover off, and now I can slide this back out. <clears throat> and as you can see there, it's rather dirty, and I need to uh, get that all cleaned out and lubed up, and then let's uh, see if it works. So I got a shop vac with a brush here that I'm going to use to suck all that dirt out. So I need to get this laser moved and there we go and kind of lubed up it's it's not riding in the track of that screw gear like it should so there we go it's like the plastic piece is kind of worn out and uh, not staying in the track I have to figure out how to get this to stay inside the screw gear like that. It's like it just needs some pressure in order to keep it in there. So let's try and brainstorm this. All right, so I got an idea to kind of get this gear, the screw gear, up a little higher so it will make more contact with this plastic guide. Uh, I got a screw here and here. I'm going to take out and then try to shim it up a bit so that it will put more pressure against this and hopefully keep it in the screw gear. 
I already took out this screw. Now I'm taking out the other one. All right, and as you can see, now this thing's loose. Should be able to kind of get it out of there so I can get something underneath it to shim it up. So I kind of have it up, and uh, now I'm going to stick something under there to shim it. So I made this cardboard shim that I'm going to shove under there. There we go. That seems to be pretty solid. We're gonna need to take the track apart, clean off all the old grease, um, and then reapply some new, put it back together. So let's do that. So I'll be using rubbing alcohol to do all my cleaning with uh, Q-tips and paper towels to get all that uh, gummed up grease off. All right, so now I'm gonna put it back together with white lithium grease. Here's my white lithium grease. All right, so there's an excess glob there, right in the middle. I'm gonna go ahead and remove that so that thing doesn't just collect dirt as it sits in that uh, center space and then cause another jam up.
There we go. So that should do it for lubing it up. So I got my isopropyl alcohol and a Q-tip. So I'm going to get some alcohol on the Q-tip, rub it all over that lens and spin it and then take the dry side because this isopropyl alcohol will leave a film on that laser lens. You don't want that. So you got to dry it off, rub it in order to get it completely clear of any anything on that lens. So that should do it. Now before you go testing anything out, you want to make sure you put the cover back on because you have a laser there and it could shine it in your eyes and damage your eyes if you don't. All right, let's go turn it on. All right, let's test this out. You wanna leave that door open because if you just push it in, it'll get stuck on the magnet there. So let the PlayStation bring it in. It's working. I don't hear any grinding. Oh, it's playing the disc. It's spinning up. I hear no grinding sounds, no bad noises. All right, it's, it's definitely playing the disc now without any noise. So it's reading. And uh, yeah, we got a good fix. So to put the cover back on, pretty simple. Just kind of tip it forward so that you can kind of hook the front in and then tip it back. And if it doesn't go down easy, then don't force it. There we go, just went down real easy. Now you can put your screws back in and uh, you're done. Well, my son and I got, just got done playing it for 30 minutes without any grinding noises or any skips. Nothing was wrong with it at all. Worked perfect. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments. And if you want to connect with me, I have a public group on MeWe called Share Your Trade. I'll leave a link in the description for that. And if you want to support my channel, you can join Robinhood through a link that I'll leave in the description. And we'll both get a free stock. So thanks for watching.